It, it, okay, it's recording now. There you go. Hey, Marco, how you doing? Hey, Tony, what's going on, man? Ah, well, uh, fun times. That's that's one thing I can say for sure. Let me let me start by introducing, uh, you know, uh, who we are and what we're doing. I'm basically a Tony to Calic. Uh, consulting in many sectors, one of them being the biggest, uh, 80% of my volume is in the automotive sector and sales coaching side. And uh, Paul Mantanoon here, a good old friend that uh, never should have met, but met from the business, you know? And we've known each other for a couple of years now. So Marco Mantanoon, an Audi brand specialist at Audi Queensway. This guy's phenomenal. And we'll start off by like, why don't you tell us who, uh, who you are and what do you do? Um, well, I'm Marco. I, uh, I've been selling cars for, uh, for a while now, since I got out of high school. And um, yeah, been, uh, my main goal ever since I uh, started selling cars was to uh, improve every day and every year as much as I could and uh, to get to a point where I can be comfortable with, uh, with what I'm doing and I can be confident with what I'm doing. So, uh, you know, after uh, over 10 years, I've, I think I've gotten there and uh, now it's just a matter of uh, you know, tra traduce it, uh, translating it into the times that we're in now. So it's uh, adapting it in a way, right? So, and it's been, uh, it's been fun and interesting, but funny enough, I started uh, my journey into this translation process uh, over a year ago when I decided to get back into sales from a sales manager position. And uh, yeah, it's been, it, it's actually worked out. And, you know, nobody could have predicted this to have happened uh, in the scale that it has happened and the speed that it has happened. But uh, uh yeah, we're, we're still making headway, right? Well, that's crazy. That's why we, we, we spoke to each other. When was it? Sometime this week, a couple of times. And, and said, hey, let's hop on a call and let's, let's let everybody know what we're up to and what's going on. And let everybody know that, look, they're not alone. We're not alone. Um, I know I'm not acting like everything is okay. I'm just not panicking. I am anxious. But, uh, I mean, how are you handling this, uh, this, like, this whole COVID-19 thing? And how are you handling it with the sector? Uh, well, surprisingly, people still want to buy cars. So I, uh, I've set up a uh, home office and I've been working from home and I, I finished two deals today. I did one yesterday. Uh, I'm working on a few other things uh, right now, one of them being an R8. Um, so it's been, uh, it's been interesting. It's, a, it's been a bit of a curve, learning curve. Uh, but again, I started this early, early uh, you know, over a year ago to try and sell people online and um, and adapting the technology that we have today to our uh, uh, sales process, which has been around for too long without any any changes, and uh, yeah, so it's it's been positive. I've uh, sold a car today to a guy from London, for example. Um, and again, this uh, if the pandemic wasn't here, I would have used the same methodology that I've used today to sell him a car, um, because of the the distance, the long distance, right? So the internet has brought us all closer together. My inventory can be viewed across the nation, across the North America. Um, so yeah, we, we it's just a, a matter of time, right? So it's it's amazing, eh? Because we've been we've been talking about this for a while. Back in the days where I met you, we were originally I believe you were Sherway Nissan, right? Yeah. And that's where we all met, and uh, we were discussing this stuff, and. Um, I kid you not, lo and behold, in times of, in times of uh, challenge and in times of adversity like we're going through, I mean, this, this, is, this is not Toronto or Montreal or Canada or North America. This is global. This is global. This is changing the entire landscape. And so, like, I mean, like, we can talk about this all day, but things like, so what, what, is, what seems to be working for you? Do you, you think it's the product line? Do you think it's you? Do you think it's a combination of both? Or do you think it's just that now we're forced into this change and it's going to change forever? It's going to change forever. I mean, this is not turning around. This now is proving to people like, I mean, I don't want to boast for you. I'll let you boast. But the thing is, I can't believe how many cars have you sold during this pandemic? So I did the finished March with 20 deals and uh, half of which were done Woo! remotely. Yeah, it's been, uh, it was good. Um, Kudos. I, had I, you know, had Kudos. this not happened, I would probably end up with 30, but... <laughs> You know, wow. in, in the situation, you got to be happy with what you have. And I'm super happy with, with what I got. Um, but at the same time, it's, uh, you, you hit the nail on the head. Things are not going to be the same. Just like uh, flying wasn't the same after 9-11. Um, oh no. Everything is yeah. going to be, everything is going to, everything's going to change. And I'm not talking about just our sector. I'm talking about every industry out there, um, starting from grocery stores and the way things are changing there. 
um, you know, it's, it's, everything's just gonna, it's gonna adapt. It's not gonna, it's not gonna change, or, you know, nothing is gonna be drastic, but everything is gonna, is gonna take a left turn for, for a little bit. Like it's, you know, it's gonna, everything's gonna have to adapt. So, you know, I was, I was, yeah. I was talking to Christina the other day and I, I said, I can't remember the last time I shook somebody's hand. And uh, had I known that this would have uh, this would have happened, I would have probably hugged people a lot tighter. <laughs> uh, but it's uh, yeah. again, it's uh, the personal touch is what is getting taken away from our sales process. And uh, ultimately, I mean, it's um, had this happened five six years ago. I don't know how I would have handled it if I would have been uh, uh, in a position as a sales rep to. Uh, to be able to adapt as quick as I did. And, uh, and that's why I, I decided to jump in the call as soon as possible because I'm sure there's people out there that are trying to figure this out as we go along. And, um, you know, if there is anything I can do to help, I'm here, right? So it's, uh, people don't, uh, yeah. you need to be, put it this way, it's comparable to a, a business manager, right? Um, so a business manager sure. doing a phone TO or meeting a person, they need to earn that trust and, and, lightning speed and the same thing happens now working from home and talking to people on the phone and never actually seeing their faces and and, uh, and uh, vice versa you need to be able to uh to transfer that trust to your client and lightning speed and uh yeah and, and just uh make that connection right away so that's the way i look at it that, that's awesome because you are uh, i'm not going to sugarcoat things but you are probably if not the only but you are one of the few reps that actually adopted this at the lightning speed that you have and how you, you, you converged over to this side so quickly, even before COVID, even before this pandemic. But then when this hit, we were talking and you're like, oh yeah, Tony, I'm, I'm busy. I'm rocking and rolling. And I, the last time I spoke to you, the city apparently of Toronto was shut down. So was, I know Montreal was shut down and you were in your car at the license, going to the license bureau. So I said, hey, we got to get on a call and I got, I got to let, I got to get this message out. And I want all of our followers, I mean, because we were in the same space and we follow, you know, similar, similar tastes and likes. And then there's also, you're in touch with people that I'm not and vice versa. And I listen, everybody's welcome to come on our next call when we have our next call. You know, what form of technology are you using? Um, so I'm using a lot of texting, which I'm not, uh, so that was probably the hardest thing to adapt for me because I'm, I'm, I was never a big texter. I always pick up the phone and call. Um, so I'm using yeah. texting a lot more, which again, uh, for somebody uh, uh, my age, I go against every stereotype because I'm not a huge, like most people in my, uh, in my age category are love texting. I'm, I'm probably like an old soul, you would say. Um, I prefer getting things accomplished with a phone call a lot quicker. Um, so I'm, I'm using that. I'm using texting a lot more. Uh, video call not so much with with my clients because I don't have the product in front of me, so I can uh, you know I can call them and I can say listen these are these are all the all the facts, and um, we've already done an inspection on the vehicle if it's a free owned vehicle or um, you know we've we've heard uh, detailed pictures of the car and what's not and and kind of and and use that to my advantage and go through the history of the vehicle. Ultimately, what has always sold vehicles besides the vehicle itself being a good product but it doesn't matter what what it is that it is you know like nowadays everything is a uh, everybody's got good products out there it's always been the story the story yeah. is always what sells the car what sells the service um and if you can uh, if you can tell the story of the vehicle well um then you know the chances of you getting that sale the odds of you getting that sales are are uh, gonna get exponentially uh better so um you know, ultimately, that's what that's what sales is. You know, you're using your words to convert customers into uh, uh, into sales, like people into customers, and then into uh, into sales. So, um, yeah, it's just a matter of uh, using, you know, being able to tell the story without having the vehicle next to you. And if you can, uh, if you can, uh, if you can do that, then you know, I think that's the biggest portion of the work. Uh, the video, I've been using video to my advantage in the sense of when I deliver the vehicles. Um, before I give the client the keys or before I put the car in the trailer that I'm lucky to have being part of the lorry, um, we, uh, I do a nice video showing how everything works in the car. And it's funny because, uh, you know, going over a vehicle used to take between half an hour, 45 minutes, maybe an hour, depending on the options. It's, a, it's converted into a 10-minute video because really that's what it is. It's a 10-minute explanation wow. how everything works. 
the reason why it, it becomes an hour is because every step of the way we have to stop and the customer's going to ask questions and you have to re-explain everything. Now all they do is hit pause, rewind, and rewatch the video. So it might still take them an hour to go through the car, uh, but I am uh, my presentation, the way I show vehicles, uh, hasn't changed. I start from uh, from the right to the left, and, and I touch every button. I never start with the pairing the Bluetooth. For some reason, that's a every rep out there likes to start with pairing the Bluetooth in the car. Um, most people can figure out that on their own, so I like to touch base on other things before I get to that. And again, it becomes a, a, a 10 minute process. And that's the way I use video to my advantage. And uh, if I have to do a walk around in the vehicle, that's another way to use video to your advantage. But most people, funny enough, are, um, you know, it, it filtered out the buyers. So now, you know, before a person, uh, they, every year they, they release new statements saying, oh, well, people are only visiting three dealerships. Uh, five dealerships was 10 years ago. Now they're only three. That was five years ago. Now one and a half dealership. Well, now they're visiting one. <laughs> so, and they're visiting it virtually, right? So uh, when they contact you, chances are that client's already halfway through the door and uh, ready to go. So the deal, closing the deal, it's just a matter of uh, earning their trust at that point. And that's it. Like I had one client yesterday that, that I sold a vehicle to, reached out to me about a specific Q5. We had five of them. And I said to him, uh, let's call him Johnny, for example. I said, Johnny, listen, um, I know you're, you reached out about this Q5. I have another five of them. I'm going to give you this one. It's got 5,000 kilometers less. It's the same car. Um, you know, just uh, take advantage of the mileage, right? That's really what it came down to. And uh, as soon as I said that, he, uh, he loved it. And uh, he understands that you're there to do what's best for him at that point, right? I, there was no reason. I could have sold him one with the higher mileage. Wouldn't have made a difference to me. He wouldn't have known about the other one because it was still not being advertised. Yeah. But again, only because you're working from home behind, hiding behind the phone, doesn't mean that uh, I'm going to change the transparency level and everything the way I used to do things, right? So yeah. That's, that's, that's amazing. And this is going to resonate with so many people, not just in, in the sector that we're in, but in the sector that everybody's in. I mean, again, as we both know, I'm in multiple sectors. So, I mean, whether it's the financing portion of it or the, or the, or the manufacturer side of it or the consulting side of it, at the end of the day, me and you discuss this, and that's where we, where we clicked off in the beginning uh, back. It's funny. I always say a year, but we probably know each other now going back to, what, three years? Very three soon, years, right? Yeah. Two years, three years. Yeah. Yeah. And, and what we used to discuss and say, yeah, but, you know, can it be done? And I don't know. And, you know, it's, it's well, like it or not, you're living proof that it's not only being done. It can be done, but it's, it's, it's over. It's over. The game has changed. And in reality, the game hasn't changed. We're just using the technology to our advantage. And instead of everybody panicking, I mean, everybody is in, is, in, is, 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 I'll keep the verbiage clean on LinkedIn, but everybody is in, in a, in a, uh, everybody's in this pandemic together. Okay. We're not talking about, oh, we'll just export or we'll just import or we'll do this or we'll do that. Right. Every sector of the economy is being affected. And I mean, you're living proof. I mean, I, I tell you something. I, I look up to you like, like, like God. My God, it's amazing what, you, what you've done in the last two months and what you've done prior to around the Christmas holidays. And since we've been talking to each other like more and more because, you know, I'm an Audi fanatic, okay? I'm an Audi fanatic. I'm also a brand ambassador. I came from that, that side of the world. Um, you know, I, I, I love the product of that. And the first thing that I thought of, because I'm not behind that desk anymore like you are, is I thought, this is it. It's over. I mean, who's going to go out there and spend on average, average, okay, 50K plus. There's units out there at 100, 200, 300, right? Like you're working in our rate right now. We're not going to discuss those numbers because we don't want to disclose any, you know, any, any, uh, any numbers or, or any names. But the bottom line is this is not your client who's looking at dropping $800 on lease, okay? This is a client that the average lease on an R8 is $3,300 plus 25000 dollars down, plus, 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 or if you want an all cash deal, we're looking at two and a quarter plus, you know, plus HST or GST, PST if you come from my part of the world. And it's like, where are these people coming from? They're still there. They're out there in our economy, right? And so are they not affected? Are, are, like, what are, you, what are you and your team seeing? Or maybe you're not dealing with your team, but like, what, what's, what's, what's to come? Like, you know, what is your vision going forward? Two, three months out from now, and then maybe a year out from now. Um, it's tough to say. Nobody has a, a crystal ball, but, um, you can, uh, it, it's like 
the way I look at it is a lot like um, playing stocks or, you know, I'm not a gambler, um, but I, I love to look at the odds. So, and that's all we can do is, is look at the odds of, um, of the way things are going to go going forward. And um, honestly, I mean, it, it's, it's hard to say at this present time. I can tell you that people that have money are spending money right now because the interest rates are really low and they're, uh, you know, now they're taking advantage of the rates and, and they're purchasing a lot of, you know, a lot of people are looking to purchase vehicles cash because they have the, um, the money available, the credit available, and the interest rates are really low. So, uh, it, again, it, I couldn't have predicted this uh, myself. I knew that this shift was going to happen. I knew that eventually we were going to have to go with a, a digital way. I just, nobody could have uh, pictured a, a pandemic to, um, to speed up this process. I always say in the next 10 years, in the next 10 years, well, that 10 years just became 24 hours uh, and, and it just really, really turned up the heat. And uh, it, it's funny, when, I, when all of this happened, I was, uh, I was approached and I said, listen, you, you don't have to work anymore. You can, uh, you can go, you know, well, you can be laid off, right? And I, uh, and I refuse that because reason being, I've been preaching for over a year about this purchasing online and all these, uh, not having the client come into the, to the brick and mortar. Yeah. And this was, uh, this was uh, a, my opportunity to prove them to myself mainly that, that my process worked. Um, and, uh, B it was, uh, you know, it was really trial by fire. Like if I, if you can make it happen in these times, man, like what can stop you? Right. And, um, ultimately really. I don't know, man. Like, uh, it's a tough question because it's. I've been thinking about it. It's. Uh, it's. I'd be lying if I told you it wasn't keeping me up at night. <laughs> uh, yeah, 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 yeah. It's keeping us up. It's keeping us all up at night, buddy. It's. It's. Uh, it's. It's a reality, right? It's a reality. But what I love is that there's people like you out there, and you're you're proving it. And uh, like it or not, it's it's uh, it's it's here to stay. It's sort of state, like even what I do, you know, maybe it's going to be less planes and less in dealership consults. It's going to be a lot more of this, you know, and maybe a lot more one-on-one -on -one or classroom sessions, but exactly this, you know, and, and then there's other ideas that we're working on, you know, the broken concepts that we've discussed and there's just so much out there, but I love the fact that like it or not, are actually, even if it's not, it wasn't part of our process or thesis, it is now being implemented by force or you're going to be fizzled out of the industry. And what I love is, remember me used to talk about the death of the salesman? Yeah. Well, that's not true. You've proven it, right? Like if anything, above all right now, the proof is that my God, we need you. We need people like you. We need people who do what you do, right? And you're proof because look, it's, you can change the title, you can eliminate the position, but, but you and I have always said and discussed, it's, it's, you can, you can call it what you want, okay? You can make me the executive vice president of the can in the corner, okay? The bottom line is, is that the position will always exist, okay? Like you said, I love your, your analogy because I'm a stock market guy, right? So I love the analogy of like, you know, back in Europe, 20 years ago, they said the death of a sales rep, the death of an investment planner, the death of a real estate broker, right? And they're stronger than ever, even in England where I think, 33% of the saturated market is completely like non, non, non inclusive to the, to the world. It's all online. Right. right? But who's filling those orders. Right. So there's machines and there's data and there's technology, but behind it all, it's, it's a human being. So, I mean, I love the fact that you're out there and you're proving it. You're proving it to, uh, you know, all the naysayers, you're proving to all the naysayers that they were dead wrong. And you, you, you just watch. I mean, you've created a tidal wave. You've created a tidal wave because I'm telling you, I think even after this call, you, you're just, you're, your inbox is going to overflow. It's, it's amazing because at the end of the day, I, you know, when I come up due for my Audi, guess who I'm calling? I got a bunch of, and I don't want to upset anybody because people know me and they know me as the Audi guy because I came from that world. But I mean, I can tell you something. If I'm not going to be behind the desk and I probably won't be, you're my guy. You're my guy. Because the credibility is built, the relationship is built, the connection is built, and now you're and, and you know what? It's no longer well. I'll get I'll get the car from Montreal. No, why? Why? You're you're five hundred kilometers away from me. But look at what we're doing right now, right? So it's a transaction, and and the whole feel felt found process is right here in front of us. I mean, this is amazing. 
I prefer to be in front of you. I prefer to sit back and, you know, shoot back a, an espresso or something and shake your hand at the end of the deal. But if it, it, if it can't be done, it can't be done, right? Life has got to move on. It's yeah. going to be the same in all other aspects of the economy. So, uh, so I commend you. I commend you. It's great. On a personal level, I mean, what do you, what do, you do daily when it's not, you know, Marco Mantenuti, the, the Audi specialist, the car after Schnaddle, the fanatic? What do you do to stay positive? What do you do when, when, when the hard times do hit you psychologically? Or maybe they don't. Um, you know what? It's um, I've, honestly, Tony, I've been uh, I've been working on pretty much a schedule, right? So as if I were to go to work, I, I have a certain part of the day, it, it, and it's really it really comes down to um, how much order you can have in your life. So I, I, you know, I wake up in the morning, I have my coffee the same way I would before, and then I sit down. And instead of going to work, I sit on uh, on my uh, kitchen island or my couch, depending on, uh, you know, we take turns with my girlfriend who's, who's using what. And, um, uh, you know, I, I just get, I start getting some work done and, uh, put my head into it before you know it, it's lunchtime. I have my lunch and it's just, it, it's a routine, right? That's, that's really what it is. Um, and I don't know, having a dog is nice. Like in the quarantine, I understand now why I should choose some furniture when I'm not home. <laughs> And, uh, you know, it's, <laughs> it, it, it is what it is, but it's staying positive. It's, uh, you know, we're all, we're all in it together and ultimately, you know, you, you just got to work in a routine. That's the way I've been doing it. And, uh, I'll tell you one thing I've saved over $2,000 switching to quarantine this month. So <laughs> it's been, uh, that's, that's one positive, Dave. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. It, wow. It, See, so every. Everything, everything that, that we're hearing from you is the complete opposite that we're hearing from everybody else. So, I mean, like, you're, again, you you know, uh, you should start a course. <laughs> you, know, you know what you it is? You should start a course because it's you know amazing. It I mean, everything that's coming. Sorry, go ahead. No, no, go ahead. We're breaking up. We're breaking up. No, that's, I uh, said, that's uh, the, I said uh, you know what, it, ultimately, uh, being a sales guy, you're at work. 12, 14 hours a day sometimes, like ridiculous hours. And it's, uh, to me, it's, it's nice to be home this much because I get to do a lot of stuff like my personal life that you kind of put aside. Like, you know, I have pictures that I got to put up and certain little houseworks that I, that make me feel better just by doing it and getting it done. Um, so ultimately it, it's nice when you go on vacation as a sales guy, you, you just, you go and, uh, you know, whether you're staying home or you go away after three days on vacation, if it's a week long, reality settles in, you're going to be back at work and your brain starts working again. So it's kind of yeah. cool having the vacation call it and work combined because now I, my brain's not, my brain's not being worried about, you know, filling my pipeline with work. And at the same time, my personal life was kind of joined in. I've been eating at home every day, making food. It's um, a bit of a healthier lifestyle, I would say. Um, but at the same time, it's um, beautiful. It's a vacation uh, because ultimately I, I still can't wait to go back to work and uh, I have those personal. That's one thing I miss the most, Tony, is the personal interactions with the people around me. You know, asking people, uh, how are you doing? How was your weekend? Like, you know, it's not the same via text and on the phone. Um, you're lacking the emotions, yeah. like facial expressions and all that. Um, so that's that's the only thing. But yeah. How about yeah. yourself? If I can return that question. You know what? Same old, same old. I mean, to be quite honest with you, my life hasn't changed much aside for the, uh, the, the hotels and the, the airplanes. You know, aside from that, it's a lot of this. Um, I'm also branching out into, I mean, I'm taking advantage of it. It's, and I don't mean it in a bad way, but I mean, I am taking advantage of it. Look, you know what? I'm being forced to learn things that I never, you know, I, you know me, right? a little bit older than you, and I'm not exactly the most tech-savvy guy. And the reason I say that is because I, I have no passion for it. And it, I find it very hard to, to learn something when I'm not passionate about it. So technology is one of those things. It's like you can tell me to press that Zoom button 10 times, and it's like, I don't understand. I don't understand, right? But when you're forced to, and you have no choice, you, you, you're going to pick it up because you have no choice, right? Like this call. It's our second attempt, and now we're on, and we figured out that, and then even, even look, everyone is, this is a learning curve for everybody. I mean, I don't want to, I don't want to get sued here, but 
I mean, you know, I'm in the markets, I'm in the stock market, and Zoom themselves got into some small deep water this week in the state of New York, and, and boom, Allah, just from that alone, this morning they changed everything, and now you need a code to get in, you need an access code, or, or you know, why? Because of privacy issues. So guess what? I mean, we're, for the first time in the history of mankind, I mean, unbelievable, okay? The planet has never experienced this before. This is a new world order for everybody. So I'm doing exactly what you're doing. I'm taking advantage of it. I'm taking advantage of it. To a point where I'm also taking orders and selling cars. I mean, I've got a network of dealerships that I deal with, right? So a client comes along and says, hey, Tony, can you do this, can you do that? Can you swing a deal? Yeah, why not? I'll be honest with you, not being in it anymore and being on the other side of things, obviously I don't have a roster of people calling me. But I like that you brought that up. I mean, where are you finding your clients? Um, a lot of it is online. Lead magnets, or is it word of mouth from? Okay. okay. A lot of it is online. A lot of uh, the new car side is a lot of leases come and do. Um, and um, aside from that, it's leases come and do. It's uh, word of mouth is a big one. Like I've gotten about four referrals in the past week from uh, clients. Um, so that's a that's a big help. And uh, to me, it's uh, the referral is the best compliment I can receive. Like everybody shakes your hand when you're delivering the car and says, this was great. This was amazing. And then they, you know, three, two years later, they're having a cocktail party in somebody's backyard and they ask them, where'd you buy that A7 and who sold it to you? And the first question, whenever you ask somebody who sold you the car, they sit there and they go, um, some guy, Italian, Spanish, whatever. Like, you know, like, that's, that's all they remember. So to me, like embedding myself in their brain is getting a referral. It's like, you don't, you don't go anywhere else. Just go see this guy. His name is Marco. You know, I'll put you in touch with him. And then I got a text message from a client saying, hey, I referred you to somebody. And they're excited. And 90% uh, and of the time, they don't even want any money back. Not only do they not want money back as a referral, a lot of the times they still send them a referral. Um, they say to me, uh, they, don't, they don't know that that's a thing, right? Like, it's, unless you work in the industry, really, it's, a, it's an unknown factor a lot of the times. They're doing it just out of the goodness of the, their heart because they – uh, number one, they want to make themselves. Yeah, that's right. You provide them the same service. Uh, you know, they're happy. Uh, and uh, number two, they you know they want to look out for that person's uh, best interest, right? So to me, that's the biggest compliment. If you if you, if you trust me taking care of somebody you know, that means that I, whatever I do, I might affect that person. You know, I might I might make myself and you look like a clown, but the fact that you trust that I'm not going to do that is um, is priceless. So. Uh, Oh, it is priceless. Yeah, and I it appreciate is priceless. my clients uh, doing that. And then uh, online leads are uh, a big one, right? So, so are you hooked up at home to your uh, to your CRM? I am. Um, I'm that's on, it. I have that's, that's, uh, so that's the candy. One eighty access to. Uh, I have my TV set up in the in the living room with. Um, I have a computer hooked up to it. I had this set up. Uh, funny enough, I had this set up about a month and a half before this all started, and. And, uh, you know, it's funny because I did it to watch, um, to watch TV, to make it easier to watch TV. And uh, it ended up, uh, I ended up converting it overnight by adding some more RAM to my computer to, uh, to a workstation now. So Nice. Yeah. Nice. Nice. So, so now, you're the, now you are the, the, the brand ambassador, the specialist, the seasoned rep, you know, manager. Uh, FNI, I mean, like you, you wear all the hats, uh, kudos to you, you know, congratulations to what you're doing. Uh, we got it. We got to do this. We got to do this again. And I think that, um, you know, I think that all of our friends and affiliates are going to want to see more of, uh, you know, what, what, what's being worked on, but listen, we'll, we'll, we'll close it off. It's okay. fantastic. I mean, I love talking to you. I love your energy. I love your enthusiasm. You know, you got my referrals, you got my business and uh, my, my A4 is coming due soon, buddy. So, <laughs> I'll be so here. We'll, uh, we'll, we'll get some stuff going. All right. Listen, I'll it's, it's a pleasure. Be safe. Take care out there. Okay. And we'll touch base soon. Likewise, buddy. Love you, bud. Ciao. Ciao.